Hi, Wycliffe Barrett here, XY Dedicated. Today we're going to look at Southampton and everything required to make it look really, really neat. See you after the intro. Thank you, report your uh, 2,000 feet on 1014, bravo, bravo. We're going to do something rather special today. We're going to look at every aspect of installing a piece of scenery to make it look really, really good. So we're going to have uh, seasonal trees, we're going to have AL Pilotex, ultra high def terrain, we're going to have a Paywear um, Airport. We're also going to put in um, Seasons by Einstein and Replacement Day and Night Lights from ISDG. So I'm going to put all the links in the bottom. I'm going to put all screenshots from the different websites in the blog and we'll go through it all, have a look at what it will look like when all this is done. Okay, I'll put the system specs of the machine in so we can know exactly what I'm using and also we may have a look at RTH and fly with Lua and what difference that makes as well. So, a rather complicated vlog today and the first thing I need to do is put all the list of everything in, okay, and then we'll put it all together and see what it looks like. I'm going to put it all in there and we'll see how it goes. We'll see you just in one second. Here we are at uh, Southampton Airport in the south of England and looking really, really quite nice. The weather's a bit cloudy. Uh, we've got a hot air balloon there, so they must be cold in, in the basket. Just as we begin to scroll around the airport here, you can see these trees and the trees have been uh, produced by Einstein and these are called Seasons 1.1. Basically, as the uh, time of the year changes, we move into autumn, the uh, trees drop the leaves and we have bare trees really really nice and that's all over you know the all over the uh, the northern hemisphere after a certain time of the year i can't remember the exact date uh, when that date rolls around into spring the leaves will come back very cleverly done there's some evergreen trees there around the car park one of the things that's been done with this airport is there are 3d 3d vehicles in some of the car parks but on the multi-story roof there are not so that kind of spoils it a little bit not forgetting that Southampton is more or less a cargo airport it takes some passengers but not many so there's lots of cargo buildings around here really nicely done once again car parks and trees placed in in appropriate places really good coming around the back of this uh, building here and uh, taking a look at the uh, Premier Inn Hotel, really nicely done. One thing that I did find a bit strange about this Paywer Southampton scenery by Pilots Plus is there are a lot of static fire engines around, a lot, um, which you know they can be re they can be removed using uh, World Editor if, if required. But uh, I like that. A couple of football pitches there and five side football pitches, all blending really well the UK photo scenery. Now the UK photo scenery that I use is from RC Simulations and the reason why I use this for the UK is I bought it right at the beginning when I first got X-Plane I bought this from RC Simulations. You can still buy it and if you like it you can buy it volume 1, 2, 3 or 4 or buy all four volumes together and if you mention X-Plane Dedicated you will get a 5% discount. So many thanks to Bob Sidwick for hooking us up with that 5% discount. But as you can see, it blends really, really well. This was produced by a company called Get Mapping PLC, and basically they flew over the United Kingdom in a Cessna taking photographs. I think it was something like a three year project, and obviously they could only fly it on days when the weather was reasonable. Then what happened was that Bob Sidwick, when he developed this package, he had it all recolorized. So it's one color across the UK. When I say it's one color across the unit. UK there is no glaring clashes of color that sometimes you find with zones photo anyway blends in really well the buildings are the default x-plane buildings or default x-plane objects I haven't put in world to explain um, buildings it just fits in really really nice so um, also uh, in this area I'm using AL pilot X's ultra high def uh, terrain mesh but I'm only using version 2 I'm not using version 3 and the reason why I'm not using version 3 is I just haven't had time to download it just too dang busy as they say but it all blends seamlessly here now this photo scenery just here that we can see in the foreground unfortunately there are no 3d buildings on there but with a world editor I could go in there quite easily and put some 3d buildings down 
just to fill that area out a little bit. It wouldn't take me very long at all to do that. I might do that just for a bit of fun, as they say. So putting it all together is a nice package. There's lots of things in there. We've got the photo scenery from, we've got the uh, Payware Airport from Southampton. We've got photo scenery from the UK and RC simulations. We've got Einstein Seasons, which is absolutely superb. Um, so you've got those bare trees. We've got uh, replacement day and night lighting. Now, I haven't spoken about this, but as I change the uh, time of day here, you'll see the lights come on and change quite dramatically. Um, and the replacement day and night lighting you can get from isdg.au. Uh, so a, a bunch of Australian guys who do some fantastic scenery, they produce this uh, package replacement day and night lighting which really really enhances the whole uh, X-Plane night environment. I also use RTH with Fly with Lua and I'm going to make an adjustment here in a moment. So, so we've gone, it's a bit darker now and you've got that nice kind of glow around the lights but maybe we should adjust that a little bit. So we'll have a look and we'll uh, see what RTH can do for us. Just having a scroll around here. So let's open RTH. That, that is uh, preset one. Let's go to preset two. Wow, now that is really bright. Uh, on a clear night you might see a city like that with that kind of hay, light haze there, but let's let's turn that down a bit under light intensity. So we just need to turn down the light intensity a little bit. Um, there we go. Let's have, yeah, I think that's more or less more or less like how it would look. Uh, beautiful. So all of these things together really making an airport stand out. Um, so Payware Airport. Payware photo scenery for the UK. Oh, the other thing about the scenery for the UK, it is only 80 gigabytes on your hard drive. If you used to download the zone zone photo stuff, it would be huge. I don't know exactly how big, but it would be very, very big indeed. Anyway, I hope you uh, kind of get the picture here, how it can all come together. As we come to the end of the vlog, what I'll do is I'll put in all the photographs now, and then I'll just tell you where you can get the stuff from with all the links, etc, etc really nice. It looks really good. I like that. So here we go with the links and where you can get everything from. This is the VFR photo scenery for the UK. As I say, you can get a four volume box set from rcsimulations.co.uk and if you mention X-Plane Dedicated, you'll get a 5% discount off the price. Just like to say many thanks to Bob Sidwick from RC Simulations for hooking us up with that. Moving on, the next link that you need or the next place you need to go to get the airport is uh, xplane.org. So there's no need for me to put a link in because you can see it right there at the top of the page. EGHI Southampton Airport. This is from Pilot Plus and as you can see it's $19.95 which I think is really good value for money. If we work that out into sterling I think that works out at around about £16 or just below. So explain.org for your airports for Southampton. Next up is AL Pilot x.net uh, this is where you get your um, scenery mesh I've got the link in the image there www.alpilotx.net you can go there you can get the HD mesh scenery version 3 you can get version 2 I'm not so sure whether version 1 is still available but you can go there you can go to the torrents and get everything you need Einstein Seasons or Seasons Data Ref Driven Libraries 1.4. Once again, you need to go to xplane.org, go into the uh, Download Manager, Scenery Download Manager, and you'll be able to get Seasons from there. Really straightforward, follow the instructions and install it. You'll have no trouble at all. One of the easiest things to install, I believe. And then finally, we're coming up to, uh, I think, this is ISDG. Remember I talked about ISDG and the replacement day and night lights? ISDG.com.au. This is down in Australia, so they've got that uh, odd.com.au at the end. Go to the downloads there. It's a, it's, 
it's a downloads page that's written as a parent directory page to scroll down and uh, release get what you want and then the final graphic that I've put up today is this one it's about how to install your sceneries airports etc meshes and photo sceneries in the order you, that you should put them in within your scenery any file if you get them in this air uh, in this order so you've got airports overlay sceneries world to explain tree lines farms etc then the mesh and photo sceneries do it in that order and everything will be fine and you'll see everything i hope this vlog has been of some real use i've enjoyed putting this one together for you 10 minutes 29 seconds of me just babbling on we'll see you soon cheerio yeah.